horrible scene there. Some potentially active weather here as well. Yeah, we're starting to see more active weather as we speak. Got a couple of warnings out there, but they are in LaPorte County, Indiana, and they're actually leaving our, our area. And we are now looking at a severe thunderstorm watch that's been issued out there as well. But again, these are thunderstorms that would be going away from us. But we got a pair of severe thunderstorm warnings to tell you about. You can see the orange polygons that are on your screen. These are both over here in parts of uh, LaPorte County. So you got the first one, the smallest of the two. Uh, that has been prompted because Doppler radar indicates it could produce up to an inch in diameter hail, also 60 mile per hour winds. Some of the areas that could be impacted, uh, Dewey, La Crosse, North Judson. Uh, that runs until 530. So you've got about 15 more minutes on that particular warning. The second one is this larger polygon here, including Kankakee Township in LaPorte County. That's not Kankakee, Illinois. No, this is over in Indiana, LaPorte County, Indiana. Uh, that too uh, for uh, areas like Coons Lake, Oregon, and uh, Walkerton. That one uh, could also have uh, 60 mile per hour winds, maybe hail the size of quarters, but that goes until 530 Central Time. So we've got another, about 15 minutes on this particular thunderstorm. Now, what do the thunderstorms look like? Well, here they are uh, moving off towards the east at a pretty good clip. They're not going to last too long, but they're going into an environment that's going to be more conducive to more big thunderstorms. You saw the area that was shaded pink there. That's where we have the severe thunderstorm watch. That's going to run uh, until about midnight, but that again is further toward the east. Now, if you want to widen that picture and we'll put things in motion, we did have one area of showers that moved uh, through Lake County, but not producing any severe weather. Now we do have some more thunderstorms starting to be developing down here towards La Prairie, and it looks like that could march to the east and maybe end up in uh, maybe Grundy County, LaSalle County, or even Kankakee County, but that's not prompting any warnings right now. Just your run of the mill showers and thunderstorms, but the atmosphere uh, further to the south is a little more primed for us to maybe see some uh, thunderstorms that could really get themselves going. And as we go through the rest of this evening here and for a while overnight, we find ourselves right smack in the middle of an area of enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms, meaning we could see numerous severe storms. And it really looks like probably later this evening with a strong cold front moving into the region when we do have that potential of seeing more of these strong thunderstorms. Now notice the differences in your temperatures, much cooler rain cooled air in Waukegan at 71, but 72 at Chicago's Lakefront, 82 in Kankakee, 80 Joliet, 83 in Lansing, and then you go over here to Valparaiso, 85 degrees. We've kept temperatures down today. Haven't gotten as warm as what we thought it would because of the cloud cover that's kind of helping us out. But we'd like to see some rain even if we don't have that uh, severe weather. Notice the dew points right now close to 70 in most locations. You step outside, you do notice it. Remember the clouds I was talking about? Here they are. Our College of Page weather bug camera and Glen Ellen showing you all that cloud cover. It's a similar story. And boy, look at this. You look at try to look at downtown Chicago. With our Edgewater Beach weather bug camera almost got a little fog there at the lakefront as well. And then we have those showers that moving through over the Waukegan Harbor, so you can tell what's going on up there. Not the best day to be out there trying to do a little boating. As for right now at O'Hare, reporting light rainfall, 80 degrees there. West southwest wind at 7, dew point of 70. So it's air that you wear. 62 the low today, 82 the high. 62 and 82 are your averages. So right on those, 43 and 104 are your records. Let's give you a wider view now. This is the front. What I was talking about. You notice the thunderstorms extend here up into Wisconsin all the way down to about Des Moines. That's going to sweep through here later on this evening. I think that window between maybe about 9 o'clock to about 2 o'clock is when we could see some gusty thunderstorms. I've been trying to find a, an actual computer model that kind of agrees with what I'm saying here. So let's put this one in motion. We start to see maybe some more development around, say, 10 o'clock. And then maybe we do get a line of thunderstorms move through here. This would be about midnight. By 1.30, 2 o'clock, the activity would move over to northwest Indiana. And then we start thinking about a cool down here with breeze northwesterly winds for our Monday, knocking our temperatures down to where we don't get out of the uh, 70s, though we could see a bubble up shower or thunderstorm wouldn't add up to too much. So we're still looking going to say thunderstorms are likely here this evening, especially later on. That potential is still there for severe weather. The biggest threat being damaging winds, but we can't rule out some isolated tornadoes, maybe even some large hail. Temperatures going to drop into the lower 60s. Then tomorrow the clouds decrease as we get later in the afternoon. Could still see an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Highs only in the lower 70s. That's all the warmer we are going to get. Yet. Now we have a pretty good looking Tuesday in store for us with plenty of sunshine, highs in the mid 70s, even a little bit cooler at the lakefront. Could see a stray shower or two early on Wednesday morning. Partly cloudy through the day, a high of around 80. Breezy southerly winds picking up Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday's highs make the mid 80s. Could see a few showers or storms in the afternoon. Showers and storms then likely here on Friday. 
Next Saturday could bring us a little bit of wet weather and then Sunday looks dry right now with highs in the lower 80s. So we're still going to watch things. You know, we've got some thunderstorms bubbling up there right now, but uh, not adding up to too much, which is good. We don't want severe weather. We do want some beneficial rain. We can't even get the rain going because we had that cloud cover all day long. So the atmosphere has been capped for us. We'll see what happens. We go through the rest of the evening. All right, Mike, thank you.